fitting room again. Um, so we'll swirl you around so you see the finished product here. This is what we worked on uh, last week. So pardon the glare there. So we are gonna work on the ceiling, uh, which here's a glimpse of it. It's not real pretty. Um, there is a trap door there, which I didn't realize what the trap door was for. I had actually caulked it and um, put mud over it and painted it. Well, it was my only attic access, so they had to go in and cut it out again uh, where I strategically had, you know, caulked over it. So um, we're going to make it look real cute, hopefully with a copper ceiling. So I've been playing around with um, a few pieces uh, or a few colors. Um, seeing what will work for our ceiling. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're starting with a, um, this is like a dollar store sponge and I just cut it so that it would be more rounded and not so um, rectangular. So we're gonna start with um, Couture Copper by Pink Couture. So that's what um, we're gonna start the ceiling with. I'm not worried about taping off because we're going to do a, uh, my plan is, a crown molding around the top. So I'm not really worried about it being perfect. But, and we're changing out our light fixture too. But let's go ahead and get started on this odd little door, trap door. There's some sponge. Some of my sponge didn't want to come all the way off. It gets very staticky. So, not a big deal. So we're basically just sponging this on there. I don't care so much about coverage necessarily, even though this is like one of the best coverage metallics that I have worked with. Um, we're just gonna kinda put it up there. This, the color that's up here right now is a satin latex that I had gotten in the oops department at Lowe's. And at the time, it was a great idea. It looked a little pinker in the store here. It's a bit taupe, gray, gross. So I'm sure it doesn't do anything for complexions as this is my fitting room. So I wanna make sure that people look beautiful in here. So I am like, we're gonna have a metallic ceiling. How about that? So we're going, we are doing couture copper all over. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm telling this to myself more than you guys because I, I'm like obsessing about the coverage. So uh, we're just gonna keep keep on going. So when you see us next, all of this will be done and we'll be on the next step. We finished with the Couture Copper by Pain Couture. And another tip, I ended up doing more of a swirl painting it on rather than dabbing the whole ceiling because even though it's only about a five by seven space, I wasn't gonna kill my arm um, right yet because we're about to do some more um, damage to it. So I just wanna get it kind of covered. I wanted to have kind of a mottled look, so that's why we have that kind of So what we're gonna do next, I'm mixing my products. Um, we've got Country Chic belt buckle. It's a darker tone and I just want a little bit of that going through. So not a whole lot. Belt buckle or the country chic metallic creams are very, very thick. Um, they're like a mousse, you know, so very thick. So I'm going to use the sponge and we're just going to apply that right on here. And I'm going to not do the whole wall or ceiling in it. I just want to get some darkness in some spots. So it's not going to be totally dark all over. Um, I'm going to use every bit of this. But this metallic cream, if you haven't played with it before, it's pretty awesome stuff. All right, so let's get it. So it's pretty thick much thicker than my copper. So let's go ahead and get up here again. All right, so now what we're going to do, let me kind of got a glare from the light fixture. So we're just gonna kind of put a little shading in here. It's gonna be kind of dark, but we're gonna blend that out. And we have more colors to 
to go on this area. So don't worry. And it's just to give it some light and dark in this space, some texture, um, just like an aging coppery ceiling. But I don't want to have the patina. I don't want necessarily, um, at least not with paint. Now I might get kind of crazy and add some um, uh, Prima, you know, metallic waxes. So I might do that up here, but that may not be right yet. So it's just kind of going to do a little bit all over. So once I finish this step, we'll come back and go ahead and do our next step. So you can kind of see how we're going here. So we're going to do some more feathering out. Get that shading that I want because I don't want it to look like marble so we're just gonna kind of grow it out there so we're gonna work on this on let me see because it's real now in person it isn't quite as stark but on the camera it's very stark so um, just keep in mind it's not as stark in person so we're going to try to do our best on capturing this and softening it up a bit for you guys. All right, we'll catch you in just a few once I've got this all done. We've got the belt buckles nice and dry. My landlord just installed my light fixture that I had to have. So it's a little brighter in here. So I do apologize for the glare. Let's try to tone that down. So I ended up doing a little more of the darker belt buckle all over, a little more kind of modeled all over um, the entire ceiling. So we're gonna um, now take Couture Copper with Sheer Bliss mixed in. This was has a little more of a shimmer to it uh, once it's dry, so it should give us some reflective quality, uh, more reflective quality on the ceiling. So we're gonna get back up here and we're just going to go ahead, um, let's see, it's a little bit lighter, so I'm going to kind of, I'm trying to decide if I want to swirl it around or if I want to just dab it on. I think I'm going to swirl it around because I like that the best. So let me see if I can get it over here so you guys can see what it looks like. It gives kind of a nice reflection of like a polished metal. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to turn this just a little bit more because that light is super bright. Um, we opted for, it's uh, similar to a um, Sputnik type light. It has um, six lights that come out. So we've got plenty of light in our fitting room now. It's a nice warm light. So it's perfect for our customers when they're trying on clothing. Um, and so that one dingy old light it was probably here since like the 60s or maybe when they made the bathroom i don't know it's just um, a sad little light so we're just gonna go ahead and like i said swirl this all around and reload when necessary again we're using the same the same old sponge so it's got some belt buckle on there as well i just put it in a little um ziploc baggie and i had spritzed some um water in it so that it wouldn't totally dry out because I had to go down and do a little shopping and stuff a while ago so this is why I was waiting for this to dry so I'm gonna go ahead and complete this we'll get the light bulb ready and we'll show you the finished product when we're done our ceiling is nice and dry we've even installed our light fixture we're a little bit of ways of being done we've got three more walls some trim crown molding to install. So we've got a lot to go and including our floor. So we've got a lot to go here in our fitting room. It is a small room, but it is a, a lot of work to do. Um, these are small projects and we hope you can take what you're learning here and use them on different projects in your home on furniture or craft products. Maybe you'll want to take on your ceiling in a powder bath. I'd say start there first.
I'm going to show you what we did. Again, here's our finished product. And again, we use Couture Copper from Pink Couture, Belt Buckle, Metallic Cream from Country Chic, and a blended Pink Couture, Couture Copper with Sheer Bliss to give us a shimmery effect. It does bounce off a lot of light, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Happy painting!